Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 6, this is equal to x minus 4 raised to the power of 6. What are the values of x, and given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. We have x to the power of 6, this is equal to x minus 4 raised to the power of 6. We can express x to the power 6 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power 2. This is equal to x minus 4 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power 2. The next step is to take x minus 4 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 on the left hand side. So that now here we have x to the power of 3 raised to the power 2 minus x minus 4 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power 2 this is equal to 0. Now this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared which is the difference of two perfect squares which we can express as a plus b a minus b. From this equation we have that a is equal to x to the power 3 we have that b is equal to x minus 4 raised to the power of 3. So this implies that a plus b, this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus x minus 4 raised to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Then we have a minus b. This is the same thing as x to the power of 3, subtract x minus 4, raised to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Let's start with equation 1, and let's call this case 1. So, in case 1, we have x to the power of 3, plus x minus 4, raised to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. This equation is actually the sum of two cubes, which we can express as a to the power 3 plus b to the power 3. And this is equal to a plus b. Then here we have a squared minus ab plus b squared. Applying this identity from here, then we have x plus x minus 4. Then here we have x squared minus x multiplied by x minus 4 then plus x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 cross the parentheses here this is equal to 0 so x plus x here this is 2x minus 4 then here we have x squared minus x times x this is x squared minus x times minus 4 this is plus 4x then plus here we have x minus 4 this is the power of 2 so this implies here we have x squared minus 8x then plus minus 4 squared which is 16 this is equal to 0 now from here we have two parts, we have 2x minus 4, this is equal to 0. The second part here, x squared minus x squared, this simplifies. So that now here we have x squared, 4x minus 8x, this is actually equal to minus 4x, then plus 16, this is equal to 0. So from the first part here, 2x is equal to 4. So this means that the first value of x here, x1 is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. So this is the first value of x, which is a real solution here. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4 and c 
is equal to 16. To solve for x2, comma x3, we apply the quadratic formula. That's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4. You see, everything here divided by 2 times times a. Let's substitute the value of a, b, and c. So that now, here we have minus minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 16. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So this implies that minus times minus 4, this is 4, plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared, this is equal to 16. Then we have minus 4 times 16, this is minus 64. Everything here divided by 2. So we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 64, this is minus 48 over 2. So we have here 4 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 48 as 16 times 3 times minus 1, everything here over 2. So this implies that here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4, square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. So we have that in the numerator here, 2 is common, we can factor out 2, so that into the parentheses we have 2 plus or minus, this is 2i square root of 3, cross the parentheses, everything here divided by 2. Let's simplify here, so that now here we have 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. So this implies that x2 is equal to this implies that x2 is 2 plus 2i square root of 3 and x3 is equal to 2 minus 2i square root of 3. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2 here, we have x to the power of 3 subtract x minus 4 raised to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 this equation is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which we can express as a minus b a squared plus a b plus b squared applying this identity here we have x minus x minus 4 then here we have x squared then plus x times x minus 4 then plus x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 from this equation here this is x minus x then minus times minus 4 this is plus 4 Cross the parentheses. On the second part here, we have x squared plus x times x. This is x squared. x times minus 4. This is minus 4x. Then plus, here we have x squared minus 8x. Then plus 16. Cross the parentheses. This is equal to 0. So we have x minus x. This implies here we have 4. x minus x. This is equal to 0. So we have 4 here. Into the parentheses. x squared plus x squared plus x squared here. We have 3. x squared minus 4x minus 8x. This is minus 12x. Then we have plus 16. Cross the parentheses here. This is equal to zero so let's divide both signs by four so that now here we have three x to the power of two 
minus 12x plus 16. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 12, and c is equal to 16. So to solve for the values of x from here, that is x, x4, and x5 from here, we can apply the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c everything here divided by 2 times a substituting the values of a b and c from here this is minus minus 12 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared minus 4 times a remember a is 3 then times c which is 16 everything here divided by 2 times 3 so here we have minus times minus 12 this is 12 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared this is 144 then subtract here we have 4 times 3 times 16 this is 12 times 16 which is 192 minus 192 from here everything divided by 2 times 3 which is equal to 6 so from here we have 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus 192 this is minus 48 divided by 6 so here we have 12 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 48 as 16 times 3 times minus 1 over 6. So here we have x4, x5 equal to, this is 12 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4, square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, everything here divided by six so from here we can factor out four we can factor out four in the numerator so that now x4 comma x5 this is equal to four into the parentheses this is the same thing as three plus or minus i square root of three everything here divided by six so we can simplify here by 2, 4 divided by 2, this is 2, 6 divided by 2, this is 3. So this is to mean that x4, comma x5, this is equal to, this is 3 times 2, which is 6, plus or minus 2i square root of 3, everything here divided by 3. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 2. So this implies that x4 is equal to 6 plus 2i square root of 3 divided by 3. And x5 is equal to 6 minus 2i square root of 3 over 3. This implies that we have five solutions. We have x1 is equal to 2 we have x2 comma x3 this is equal to this is 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 these are two complex solutions then we have x4 comma x5 this is equal to this is 6 plus or minus 2i square root of 3, everything here divided by 3. Again, these are two complex solutions for this algebra problem. So, can you refer the steps? Like this video 
and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video